Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I've got a number of topics to cover in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam, including what's going to happen when Coinbase officially suspends trading of XRP in a few days. It's happening on January 19th. Well, there are some people within our community uh, expressing concern that when it actually happens, that could potentially trigger additional price crashing for XRP. I personally don't think that, and I will articulate my reasons why. You know, if, if XRP goes down on that date, then it, would, it wouldn't it would be because of that. Maybe the if the whole market tanks or something like that, well, okay, then it went down. I'm just saying I'm not going to blame it on uh, and the, the, uh, the, the uh, suspension of trading of XRP actually going into place. I uh, also want to talk about Kraken, cryptocurrency exchange Kraken, officially halting the, uh, the trading of XRP, at least for now. Um, and what it means for you, because there's a chance if you don't take action, uh, your, your, your holdings on that platform could be liquidated. So I want to make sure I at least run through it so that you're aware in case you're using them. Um, also, you know, what do you think is going to happen if, if XRP ends up getting the clarity that XRP holders want it to have and, and, and you know, cer certainly hope will occur? What's that going to mean for XRP price action? Well... I'm going to show you what happened to a different cryptocurrency uh, as soon as it got clarity. And uh, spoiler alert, it, it became instantly worth substantially more. But I'm going to show you a chart. And so, I, look, and I admit, we, we um, you know, holding XRP, it's admittedly more risky than it was. I mean, this is probably a no-brainer comment, but I'm going to keep saying it because I don't want people to think that I'm just like blissfully unaware or don't care like i understand holding xrp is more risky but it does nothing to change my my conviction and i'm just continuing to track all of the developments if anything changes uh, uh, substantially and i become aware of it then i can always reserve the, the right to change my opinion but I, i'm following what lawyers are saying about this and like it seems to me that just about the only lawyers on the planet that believe xrp is actually security work for the sec that's about it. I can't find other, like, it's very difficult anyway, to find lawyers that uh, think that uh, the, the claim that XRP today in 2021 is a security, it's just, it's, it's hard to find them, and it's kind of a bonkers claim here. So uh, here was the official Coinbase blog from December 28th, 2020, noting that Coinbase will be suspending trading of XRP on January 19th. Now, here's the thing. So when that news was announced, that's when that's one of the things that triggered additional price crashing of XRP. The first was with the, the news that the SEC was going to be going after Ripple. When that happens, you can look at the chart, the timing matches up. It's a no-brainer, of course, it happened. Not terribly surprising. When Coinbase announced this, this is big. They're a big cryptocurrency exchange, uh, one of the most well-known ones on the planet, certainly in the United States at least. And when that happened, the price of XRP tanked further. And so at this point, what I'm seeing is news doesn't seem to be impacting anybody else's uh, determined, like anytime, it, like think about this. So Kraken, which I'm going to get to in a second, when they announced the other day that they'll be halting XRP trading, the market didn't really respond. You know, additional re negative news hasn't really impacted, including uh, Grayscale when they announced that they were liquidating XRP, the market didn't care. Because all the people that were concerned about what's happening and were affected by the negative news, like by and large, they're out of the market. And so you, you have to think, if, if you're one of the people that's concerned that January 19th rolls around and XRP is going to crash when the actual action uh, it occurs, where, there's, where it can no longer be traded, it's like, no, the news is already out there. That the price hit has already been it's already occurred. I mean, do you think that there are gonna be people that are, are on Coinbase and then January 19th hits at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and then XRP can no longer be traded and, and there's just gonna be a, a massive quantity of people on Coinbase going, what, what, what? I didn't know about this. And then they're gonna panic sell their XRP. That doesn't really make sense to me. I, I think that the news hit it's done. I'm not expecting this to personally to, to impact the price of, of XRP uh, at all. I mean, you'd have to be an outlier human, and the, but as, as far as being detectable in charts, I doubt it. And look, I, I don't have a financial background. I am not offering financial advice of any kind, so you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I just think it's interesting to talk about these topics. Uh, happy to share my everyday Joe Schmo opinion, but I'm just running this YouTube channel as a hobby, so I'm not some sort of guru. want to be super clear about that. Uh, here's the news from Kraken. January 15th, 2021, Kraken to halt XRP trading for U.S. residents. Given the recent SEC filing against Ripple Labs, Inc., 
We are halting XRP trading for U.S. residents no later than January 29th, 2021 at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we may begin implementing this process at any time on January 29th, 2021, so all U.S. clients are strongly encouraged to resolve their positions prior to that day. U.S. residents with open XRP spot positions on margin should satisfy their margin obligations by January 28th, 2021 at 11.59 uh, p.m. Pacific time, and check this out, or their positions will be liquidated in accordance with our, our terms. So if that applies to you, take care of that or your position will be liquidated. That does not sound fun. You're going to have a bad time if your position gets liquidated. So just be aware of that in case uh, in case uh, that has not been brought to your attention. Um, then they write, our clients residing in the U.S. will still be able to deposit, hold, and withdraw XRP with Kraken. And so that's the same position that Coinbase has taken. And I know that some people get offended by, you know, exchanges taking this position of, of halting XRP, but, and, and that's fine. Like, I, I respect it, various opinions and diversity of thought. It's all cool, but I'm going to make my opinion known, which is that I, I'm not offended by Kraken doing this whatsoever. I really am not. They're just protecting their business. They were forced into this position by the SEC. They got to protect their, their livelihood and their employees and all that stuff. I, I totally get it. And uh, they're not delisting it. If it were some sort of venom, venomous thing, this would have been a, a really good excuse to, uh, to delist XRP, but they're just halting it and they're still allowing customers to hold it. They're not trying to piss off customers. They're trying to protect their business. And, and again, so Coinbase is doing the same thing. And I suspect that uh, once this is all cleared up, assuming it goes the way we think and hope that it will, uh, that uh, hopefully there's a settlement. I would love that. That'll be my, ha I'll, oh man, I'll just be celebrating all day, right? <laughs> so if we get news like that. Uh, but, but you know, upon that, I believe that trading will come back to these platforms quickly. And I, I, I certainly suspect there would be a rally. And I'm going to show you more information on that in just a second here. I'm going to show you a real world example of what happened when there was clarity around a different cryptocurrency that the SEC was going after. But, um... Let me go a little bit further. I'm almost done with this, but uh, a couple other things. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so clients in other countries are not affected. That's not surprising. Um, so what does this mean for me? Oh, here we go. This is the part I want to cover. Uh, how long will these changes last? And Kraken writes, we are monitoring the situation regarding the SEC's filings and will adapt according to any new developments. So there you go. Obviously going to halt. So they're going to halt the trading. But that's a pretty clear demonstration that uh, they didn't say it. But what do you think that means? What what what? A, they're they're already going to halt. Like what would the change be? That they're extra halting it? It's like that scene from Super Troopers where it's like, officer, I'm already pulled over. I can't pull over any further. It's like that. They they can't like extra halt it. So what does that mean? They're saying if this gets cleared up, we're gonna bring it back. Well surprise you know like of course that's what would happen right i think that all of the, the cryptocurrency exchanges that have halted it would bring it back uh so th that's what i think and also by the way just so you know this is not going to impact spark token distribution all right so how about this now are you guys aware of the kick i guess it's called is a kick corporation kik i keep forgetting because the, the token, there's a token called KIN, K-I-N, and then the company that was dispersing it was Kick, And I, I get that kind of confused because they're kind of similar sounding. But anyway, you can see here, June 4th, 2019, SEC charges issuer with conducting $100 million unregistered ICO. And so this is against Kick, K-I-K, for selling their KIN token. And so again, uh, over a year and a half ago, June 4th, 2019, now, take a look at this. Uh, this is a piece from, um, what's the date? October 22nd, 2020, so just roughly several months ago. Kick settles SEC lawsuit for $5 million over its 2017 initial coin offering. Now, look, I, there are certain similarities between what happened here and what happened with Ripple, but it's not, and I've already talked about this, so it's, it's not exactly the same and so you can't necessarily expect the same outcome i'm not getting into that topic in this video i'm just acknowledging that i do understand that it's different but i want to highlight what happens when a cryptocurrency gets regulatory clarity which happened for them several months ago it settled they paid a five million dollar penalty mind you they, the sec said hey hundred million dollar unregistered securities was sold here and they paid a five million dollar penalty how about that 
because uh, and look, and I also stated and this. This is this is verifiably true. Most uh, SEC charges against a business entity end up settled rather than going to court. So uh, let's hope that there's a settlement with Ripple. If they can't work it out, then uh, that's when it starts to get a little bit more scary going to court. But even then, I still suspect that R Ripple would be found to be on the right side. Well, even if they didn't do everything perfect or if there's penalties, fine. But as far as XRP being a security, I just I can't even fathom that being found to be the case. So what happened? Back in October. Well, check this out. Shout out to Frecky who sent me this, sent, sent this my way. He wrote, this XRP community member Frecky, when Ken was deemed a security, chart below. And so this is when, and, and so here's what he wrote. Uh, markets like certainty, markets do not like uncertainty. And then he tagged me along with another. And so you can see, I'll, I'll actually just pull up this, uh, this chart. This is live coin watch. So here's the Ken price. And right where I'm circling right here, this is this is uh, October, yeah, this is right at the same time frame, about October 20th. You can see that it, price just rocketed up. It's Because look, it was, it's not like anything fundamentally changed about the token itself or its potential long-term viability. Markets don't like uncertainty. And so the fact that XRP is still hovering around 30 cents as I record this, a little bit less than that, uh, and uh, and there's this level of uncertainty. That's impressive, first of all. I mean, it didn't even crash down to like the March, uh, the March 2020 levels when it got down to like 11 cents because of the the pandemic and all that. And so you can see, just look at how it has rocketed up. So within the last 12 months, and you can see that really most of this growth has occurred since October. But with, uh, this is a 12 month chart. Within the last 12 months, uh, this Ken token has increased by 1,655 percent as I record this. 1,655 percent. And so that's so. My point in bringing this up is even though the court case will be different, and I'm not going to into the reasons why in this video I've talked about it in the past. If we get clarity here. I would expect something like this to happen. So I'm not offering financial advice here, and I, I could be wrong. I'm just sharing with you my opinion on this, and I think if we get regulatory clarity, you're going to see something like this. And so again, 1,655% increase, really basically since October, and um, it has retraced a little bit, but it's still up that much, over 1,600%. At its peak, I don't know what the percentage would be here, but you could see that would have been uh, December 23rd. I mean that that's that looks to me like it's probably a, a, what over two thousand percent at its at its height after this happened. So you got to wonder if you're talking about even just a fifteen hundred percent increase, where would that put XRP? I don't know, just quick math in my head. I could be doing this wrong. If if so, then fine, Moon Lambo idiot. But uh, would that be like somewhere in the neighborhood of four dollars and fifty cents, something like that? And and don't forget also too, like. <clears throat> um, you know, like, for instance, the blockchain backer, my fellow XRP YouTuber, he's saying that the fair market price of XRP, if it were aligned with the rest of the altcoin market, would be like $2.35 today. So it should already be a lot higher. And so that's why, for me, like, I understand it's more risky to hold XRP, but I anticipate that this is going to go the way I, I you know, I, I hope that it will. And, and so... If that, if that happens, my gosh, I can only imagine the rush into this. And it's going to be hard for some U.S. residents to jump in because when the news hits, it's going to take a while for the cryptocurrency exchanges in the United States to pop back. Um, now, there are still at least three cryptocurrency exchanges just off the top of my head. I don't know what the total number is of cryptocurrency exchanges in, in the United States still trading XRP, but there are at least three. Uh, there's Uphold, and they made it clear they will not be removing XRP unless XRP is found to be an actual security. Not just a claim, because there's, there's a claim the SEC has made, but it has to be found to be a security. And uh, GateHub also said the same thing. And then you also have BitTrue. And I don't know if they put out a statement indicating that they're just going to keep selling it. But at least as I record this, BitTrue is still offering XRP. So there's on and off ramps for you right, right there. So we'll see how it all goes. But uh, I'm still very optimistic for the future. And I'm going to keep reporting. And I'll keep running this, uh, this Moon Lambo channel here all up on the YouTubes as long as people are interested in it. But um, I can tell you... And, and this, is, this is a good sign, too. Like, it's just one little metric, but crypto is growing like crazy, and interest in XRP is increasing. My channel, it's not just my channel, but my channel has been just blowing up even after all these claims. Uh, it's been growing substantially. New subscribers coming on board uh, by the truckload every day. And it's not just me, and I'm not, I'm, I hope that doesn't sound braggy. I'm just trying to share with you another indication that interest in XRP isn't going away, it's increasing. And uh, that's evidenced also by, uh, and I've reported this in the past, just massive quantities of new XRP accounts opening the world over. And so don't forget, 
It's only like, I don't know if it's five or 10% of, of total trading on the globe comes from the United States. So, you know, you talk about uh, that going away, fine, li liquidity is going to decrease, but the rest of the world is still going to be trading this. And there are going to be all sorts of people, and I'm one of them actually, that see this as a tremendous opportunity. And I, I you know, more people continue to come in. And I think there's going to be a recognition that uh, this thing's undervalued because of the market uncertainty. And once that clears up, I think there's going to be a rush into it. That would be my guess. I don't make price predictions, but I would guess you know, directionally that's probably what would occur. But um, I'll go ahead and wrap up there. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.